where it's been stored over the last 35 years. Fingerprints from Jesse were smeared, and portions that were readable didn't match this Elvis fingerprint card from 1970. It's Finally, we learned of a Memphis doctor with copies of Elvis's medical records and even tissue samples. Bill Beeney met the doctor in 1996 and convinced him to have the tissue samples tested for DNA. Doctor was a super nice fellow. He asked that his name be kept out of it because he has a large clinic in Memphis. He didn't want any controversy that involved him. The doctor inherited the medical records and tissue samples from his friend, pathologist Dr. Harold Sexton. Sexton had handled two liver biopsies for Elvis when he was tested for hepatitis in 73 and 75. Sexton also worked on the autopsy tissues. To protect himself, Dr. Sexton kept copies of everything he did. For fear of being sued, Sexton saved the tissue slides from both the biopsies and the autopsy. So I said, how do we know these are Elvis samples? The doctor went to the medical records, which have the heading of the Baptist Hospital on them. The tissue slides are clearly documented in the medical records. The doctor agreed to release them for DNA testing. We wondered if either sample would match Jesse's DNA. We did the tests on Jesse, and um, our results turned out to be a different type than liver or the autopsy samples. That means that they have come from a different individual. Not only was Jesse's DNA different, but researcher Alice Newman found something startling. I got a different DNA type from the 1975 biopsy sample and the autopsy specimen. All three samples appear to be from different individuals because each one of them has a different DNA type. Elvis's liver tissue is different than Elvis's autopsy tissue. Bill Beeney's not surprised. His lab ran the original tests with the same results. The only conclusion I could come to is that Jesse is not Elvis Presley. Elvis is still out there somewhere. But 